Ahoy Explorers, I'm Nia and this is entry number 8. Today we're going to explore Coxburg Rum. It is a rum for Barbados, so this is going to be a little bit unbiased because I am a big fan of rum from Barbados. It's a very old distillery. It was established in 1884 by a Danish uh, sea captain. It has changed hands quite a bit from different families. Luckily, it has remained in Barbadian family. The logo is a cock, um, which is a um, very, very interesting. This one is a VSOR, which is a very special old reserve. So I'm excited to try this. There is no age on this particular rum, but the interesting part of it is the other bottle that I found that looks similar to this. The age of the rums are 12 years. So it's a blend of different light rums that are pot stilled and um, they're molasses rums and then they're aged in white oak casks that were previously used for bourbon. And uh, as you can see, the color is a little bit mahogany. And we're going to go ahead and taste this. So I'm going to start with a little bit of this neat. Sadly, my glasses broke, so I had to get some new ones. Um, but now I got some like nice bigger ones to try this. And as far as the notes on this, it says that it's supposed to have um, coffee, some mixed spices, um, the aromas is like nutmeg, mace, and then um, the aftertaste says that it's a cigar box finish, so I'm very interested to try this and see what notes I can tell. So on my Rum Aroma training kit, I do have nuts and coffee. Definitely smells like a bourbon. Um, they're supposed to be multiple aged rums, like 12 year old rums aged in this rum. As you can see the color is like honey, honey, mahogany, and can definitely smell the caramel, the coffee notes, a little bit of the spice too. So let me bring out the different smells uh, from the aroma training kit and see if I can compare it. These are all, by the way, rums um, that are derived from molasses. Let me stick with the coffee first, with the notes that they say they have. Let's see what it does. I have my plate here, my trusty plate. I'm gonna fold it in half so that it doesn't touch anything else. Um, so coffee, it says hints of shortbread. Maybe that's the sweetness that I'm picking up on there. Maybe necessarily as strong as caramel. But I do have something else in here, which is number 20. It's spice. So I'm going to try that. Oh, opening up a ton of new smells today. And so it's coffee, spice, nutmeg, which if you watched my previous video, I used um, the spice nutmeg and it worked out fine. So maybe I might bring that out, but let's start with something different, something new. Um, give this a sip. Okay, I could definitely taste um, kind of like bourbons 
where that that it's been aged on a white oak barrel so i'm definitely picking up on that which is delicious it's it's 80 proof so you know the burn is there but it's i like this this is this is very very good um sadly it doesn't say how aged this is but based on the fact that it says that it's a very special old reserve i'm gonna trust that it is because it does taste like an aged rum so let's try the coffee first it'll be interesting to see if i can i sadly i can't really smell the coffee um like I said, I smell more of like the sweetness, the the oakiness of it, kind of like bourbon. Let's see. Let me try the spice. Ooh, spice for sure. Yeah, I can smell the spiciness in there. For sure, this is going to be a sipping rum. Um, so I did kind of read up on this rum a little bit and when it comes to sipping rums, I don't really like mixing it with too much. So I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm going to try it with ice to see if that helps a little and then I'm just going to mix it with a little bit of ginger ale and call it a day. And then I did try the coffee. I don't know if it's because like... To me, when I first smelled it, it didn't didn't smell like coffee, but I guess because I'm still training my nose. And in the Rum Arona Aroma Training Kit, it's it smells like coffee, but it's not an overpowering bean, like roasted bean smell. It's more like on the lighter side. And I might be detecting it a little bit but not as much as the spice as the oakiness i do love the aftertaste i could definitely see um how some people describe it as like a like a cigar box finish or like that smoky smokiness definitely smoky but this is delicious i'm very impressed this was i believe around 30 32 usd 33 usd um, it's great. It's delicious. Like I said, I'm a little bit unbiased to begin. Sorry, rums from Barbados. So I'm going to put a little ice on this and see. And this particular rum, what's beautiful about it is that it's very, it's, it comes from a very old distillery, so it has a lot of history. So I love trying distilleries like this because I feel like with age comes knowledge and they've obviously learned how to make a, an amazing rum with all the knowledge that they have. So let's see. Okay, now I can tell more of the coffee, believe it or not. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, I don't know if anybody else has seen this, but to me, I feel like the ice lets you smell different aromas in the rum, which is very interesting. Let me see maybe if it, I taste any difference. Again, I think I'm going to try the caramel just because I'm very curious to see how it compares to this because to me, it definitely, there's a little bit of caramel on there. There's there's a little bit of sweetness to it and I'm also going to try there's an aroma called cask age so I definitely want to try that one as well it doesn't say it's in there I have I have this feeling that it's gonna match with the caramel for some reason and caramel is number four So I'm going to set this aside and then I want to try the cask age one to see if that's what I'm detecting as far as the oakiness. Quite impressed. A very old 
distillery, very old rum with a lot of history, but very delicious. It is very, very smooth. I would love to make some decories with this as well. It is, um, Barbados is very famously known for their rum bouillon. And those types of rums, um, which tend to be either sipping rums or rums where you mix, um, they mix really well in decories, so. It will be great to make some decories. But with the ice, my God, that is delicious. That is very, very good. I'm super impressed. Our rum old fashions. And I might try that, let's see. So let me see the caramel. Yeah, I, I kind of get like a caramel hint. Not very sweet though, but somewhere in there I definitely smell the caramel. Let's see the oak. Um, um, no, I, so I know I said I was going to try this because I knew I kind of detected it, but to me it smells, I can, I could definitely smell more the caramel in it than the cask aged, but it's very interesting. Very, very interesting. The cascade, it kind of reminds me of the leather a little bit, but... So when, when I put the ice in it, I definitely lose um, the smoky aftertaste to it. So if you like smoky aftertaste, I would not put any, any um, ice to this. I would just drink it neat and I could see, again, me smoking this with some cigars because it's very good. But the caramel is, there's there's a hint of caramel in there. I, 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 I'm almost 100% sure. Let's just, now I'm just gonna add a splash of ginger ale to see how it mixes. I feel like ginger ale, when it comes to sipping rums, it doesn't overpower them and you still get all the notes and flavors and the smokiness of it. That's why I love ginger ale so much, but um, but I definitely want to try something else with this. And with the ginger ale, it's, it's really good. Yeah, just a little splash of ginger ale goes a long way. Very good, super impressed. I, like I said, I'm a big fan of the Barbados rum, so I would definitely add this to my collection. The price point is there, so quality, price point, both are there. I would definitely buy this bottle again, even as a gift, you know, it's quite versatile because it is a rum, but it does have um, what most of our friends like, which is whiskeys and bourbons and um, spirits like that. So it's definitely something that I would bring to a party. I feel like it's more of a crowd pleaser versus rums that are either on the lighter side or the spicier side or the sweeter side. This is like the perfect medium and it's aged. So it's very smooth. It can go neat, it can go in a drink. So as far as versatility, great. Very impressed. Okay, so we've tried that with the ginger ale. I want to try um, to make an old fashioned, so I'm gonna try a new tool that I recently bought. I'm excited to bring this out on my first on this first video and see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as mentioned, I'm going to do another drink with this just to see. I have. Um, a big old ice cube here and I'm on this kick right now where I'm doing these old fashions and I actually just got this smoke topper from Middleton Mixology I have sherry chips in here so I'm gonna go ahead and load this 
As you can see, it's very easy. They sell everything on their website. It's incredible. If you want to support my channel, I have an affiliate link down. I would really, really, really appreciate it. Um, but this has been very impressive. I don't have orange, so I'm going to try Angostura bitters that are orange flavored to see how that tastes. So these are the cherry chips. And it's an ounce and a half of this rum. The other thing I'm going to use that's different is going to be, instead of using simple syrup, I'm going to use the Demerara syrup that I made. And for that, it's just going to be two teaspoons. And luckily, I do have some Marchino cherries. Yeah, this syrup has been making things taste um, sweet, but not not like the simple syrup because I don't know to me simple syrup kind of tastes fake and I don't like that about the simple syrup and I also like the taste it, it's it's sweet but it's not overpowering so I'm gonna try this out again I'll put the recipe down at, in the description in case you're interested in trying this and again, I'm going to try the orange bitters, since I don't have an orange right now. Just did four dashes. I'm going to use my mixing spoon. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to smoke this, which you'll see how amazing this is. They do sell these um, torches on their website. It smokes extremely fast. I hope you can see this. And I think that's all I'm going to do for this one because the smoke is there already. Look at this beauty. Okay, and I'm just gonna throw the marchino cherry in there. Let's call it a day. Now, last time I did this, I didn't mix it while it was still smoking. So, I'm gonna mix it just a little bit more. Wow, that's very good. I don't know, this smoky element makes it even better. As you can see, it doesn't dissipate very fast. It's very easy to use. It has a screen in here. And the great thing about this is they do include another screen. Um, so if you do happen to st that screen in there starts getting old or something, it's just, you have your replacement right there. But Honestly, like the Angostura orange bitters, which are these, gives that orange flavor, so you definitely feel like you're drinking an old-fashioned. I love the smoky taste of this. It's very smooth. Delicious. All right, all right, all right, all right. As Matthew McConaughey says um, so the smell and taste of this I was thinking about it and it actually made me um, want to try this little comparison real quick so I have the cockspur here and I actually have Buffalo Trace uh, bourbon here and this let me tell you they smell quite similar 
the color this one's a little bit more amber but it's almost there so I wanted to go ahead and try this and see if I could compare it so this one's very smooth and Buffalo Trace obviously I've tried it before but I wanted to see and I'm gonna wash this down a little bit with the ginger ale you know cleanse my palate so the buffalo trays is a little bit more on like the sweeter side but they're both almost 80 proof which is very interesting and obviously this is made from molasses similar noses the buffalo trays obviously has a little bit a little bit more sweetness to it the color the rum is a little bit more amber because I feel it's from the molasses but if you have friends that like bourbons and you want to be able to drink rum with them and bring them on to the rum side I definitely recommend this rum very very impressed Coxper definitely a great option for those bourbon whiskey drinkers anyway had to add this real quick because it blew my mind when once I smelled it and I knew that they were aging um, bourbon barrels I wanted to see I wanted to you know put it to the test versus versus and I could definitely say I like both of these but I am a rum drinker so I definitely prefer this but this is a great option for your bourbon friends if you want ideas Hawksburg is it thanks